We have a brand new warning from the DEA office right here in Nebraska this morning about what your kids could be exposed to when they head back to school. Yeah, we are now two weeks out from LPS campuses welcoming back students and authorities say they are seizing meth and fake pills at a high rate throughout our state. Tonight's Daniel Times is breaking down live the dangers experts say our children can be confronted with that are completely unprecedented. Good morning, Daniel. New findings suggest we're facing a wave of opioid overdoses, and this could happen in every county across the country, from most rural to most urban. New research from Northwestern Medicine found the reason of overdoses are hitting historic heights is lethal combinations. More people are mixing synthetic opioids with stimulants like meth and cocaine, and it's incredibly hard to reverse in an overdose. This is becoming even more dangerous as the Nebraska DEA office says it's seeing pills shaped like marshmallows that you'd find in popular cereals. Those pills are laced with the synthetic opioid fentanyl, which is 50 times stronger than heroin. Leaders all over our country are helping sound this alarm. Is law enforcement alone is not going to be enough to make sure that we reduce the use and spread of fentanyl? One of the most important tools that we have as a state to help us deal with the spread of fentanyl is parents. I'm urging parents across the state right now to know that your kids are going to parties and at those parties pills are being traded and used. And what you don't know and what your child does not know is whether or not a pill that they are given at that party is laced with deadly fentanyl. In the latest annual report from the CDC, there were more than 108,000 overdose deaths nationwide. DA lab tests found out four out of 10 pills containing fentanyl have a deadly dose. Just two milligrams, an a small amount enough to fit on the tip of a pencil is enough to kill. Reporting in Lincoln, I'm Danielle Kaiser, Channel 8 News.